crossing. It's one of the main ways that teams score. So that's why today, we'll show you the most important crossing techniques in all of football. You're watching All Attack. Standard Curve. As you run up, plant your foot so that your toes are a little in front of the ball. Then, using the area between the inside of your foot and your laces, strike along the side of the ball, starting low and following through upward. This type of cross is great because it has height and speed. If done well, the cross will make it over defenders' heads and have enough speed that it will be easy for a teammate to get power on their header. Trivela. To hit a travela, plant your foot further away and further back than normal. This will give you space to swing your foot through the ball. Then, using the top outside part of your foot, Strike along the side of the ball, starting low and following through upward. This kind of cross is useful when you want to play the ball quickly, but you don't have enough time to switch the ball to your other foot. Also, it's helpful for players who are terrible with their weak foot. Low driven. Run up and plant your foot in front of the ball. Then, using your laces, strike right through the center of the ball. And as you do this, your knee should be over the top of the ball. This type of cross is useful when you're near the goal line and you want to hit the ball between the defense and the goalkeeper. Lofted cross. For a lofted cross, start by planting your foot a little in front.
and lean your plant leg away from the ball. giving you the space to turn your foot and strike the underside of the ball with your laces. This type of cross is great if you simply want to lift the ball above defenders to the back post. Also, it can be useful if the goalkeeper is really bad in the air. Chip cross. As you run up, Plant your foot about level with the ball, so that your toes are just slightly in front. Then, use the area just on the top of your toes. And strike the underside of the ball. The difference between a chip cross and a lofted cross is that a chip cross is a small dink that only goes about 15 to 20 yards. Whereas a lofted cross is a longer pass that can be done from far out on the wing. All right, everybody, we hope you liked that video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Make sure to subscribe and make sure to check out our other videos if you want to learn more about football.